Hey guys, Carson here on the Rip Ranch. Today we are going to be getting our horses saddled out here and putting our cows, or part of our cows, up on one of our um, government permits, which is called the Parker Mountain. So it's about 6.30ish in the morning. Just fed the cows, the other cows, and I'm gonna saddle my horse, my boy's horse, and we'll get going. Okay, well we got the uh, horses saddled. We're on our way. Here's the crew for the day. We got my dad, got Quinny and Laney and my wife Haley. Laney, what are we doing today? Going on the rip ranch. Going on the rip ranch, yep. All right, this is the crew. We got about a 45 minute drive. We got the horse trailer behind us. If you watched a couple videos back, I had extreme allergies. I could barely even keep my eyes open. Um, my brother showed me this little deal. I'll show you what I've been doing. It's actually really helped. Okay, so this is what I've been drinking. It's called Morning Miracle. It's it's a natural, uh, natural solution kind of for allergies and congestion and stuff. Here it is. I, my brother and I, or my brother actually has a code so it's rip ranch 15 i'll send it i'll put a link in our description for it but man it's really helped me with my allergies and the best thing it's not a pill it's all natural all right so you just pour it in your water mix it up i got the mountain berry flavor that's been my favorite so far but you just mix it up it's pretty tasty um and it's really helped me so give it a try okay here they come They should go. Got the cows out of the corral. Got my dad and my good helper on the horse with me, huh? Who who you riding? Juanita. Oh, Ida. Yep. Now we just got to keep up with the cows, huh? Tell them about your vest. You're wearing a vest, aren't you? Yeah. You're pretty excited about it. Yeah. All right. So I got my good helper, Lou. My dad right there. Forgot his bridle. Forgot his bridle, so he's riding with the halter. Haley, Quinn are in the truck, and we'll get Quinn out in just a moment. And he can ride with us. He could have rode with us. Okay, we got a new helper on the crew. Quinn and Ol. The horse, his horse changes names every day, but we call him Mohawk. He calls him, what are you calling him now? He doesn't know. What is it? Mohawk Warrior. Mohawk Warrior, yep. Yeah. But it's going good so far. Just a quick update. It's windy and cold. Still got my good helpers. Things are going pretty slick. Gwen's there and my dad and Haley's behind us in the truck. But we're just going to follow them up the road and then we start going across the range in just a little bit. Um, but it's going slick, going pretty slick. Okay, we're off the pavement and onto the dirt road. Okay, we're now off the road onto the just the mountains. So we're gonna go. Oh, oh shoot, lost. My, okay, so now we're just gonna go along this mountain, and we got a couple miles worth of uh, just sagebrush. And I'm gonna Quinn and his mom is gonna go get on with his mom on the razor. 
they're gonna meet us up there so we have a ride back to get the truck have some lunch with us anyways it's going good cows are trailing really good um, but there we go we're gonna off the off the trail now how to get my wife situated on the razor and so she can meet us over at the it's called the Moroni pond um, so now I'm just trying to catch up to my dad and the cows I got the dogs and it should go well but gotta just trot up to them just draw up this draw so I'll catch up and to my him. dad he's up on the the hill there if you can see him so I'll be just a minute and I'll get him caught up to okay got to the cows I don't see my dad I'm sure he's just Ow, he's over there turning them so they go through the gate so we're gonna go through a gate here which will then officially put us on our range and uh, and we'll go a couple three or three or so miles to the Moroni pond and we will be to our location for the day okay, there's the gate just, just getting them through the gate and we're gonna go push them to the water as you can tell it's pretty dry desolate country so water is the most important thing for us out here on our range okay still going well just wanted to kind of explain what we do here so in the west like utah majority of the land is owned by either the state or the federal government this is actually a state land permit sitla is what it's called uh, utah trust lands um, we have the ability to run 45 pair and two bulls or 47 cows no bulls but we want our cows to get bred so we run 45 cows pair and two bulls um so this is the set, third year we've gone here so this the cows know where they're going you can't see it well there's a little trail but we pay fees and we are in charge of maintenance of the fence all that we'll run with another bunch of people we there's about 1300 head on this permit this is a really interesting permit because there's no live water and so we rely heavily on ponds which i'll show you but just so you can see cows are out trailing and as you can see it's not like a pasture you have in most places in the world where they run cows but the cows are following the trail Cows are super smart and they remember year to year where to go. So they know where to turn, they know where to go up the trail. You just gotta be here to push them a little and make sure they're going. While we're at it, see this bull here? Right there, fancy bull. That's one that we raised ourselves here, our first crop of Rip Ranch bulls. And we are really excited about him. Look how slicked off he is. He's been forage developed. So. If you're looking for bulls that do well out on rangeland, hit me up, but we're mostly sold out. We're getting close to being sold out, but I'm just really proud of that bull. Really fancy looking bull. Okay, there's the other bull we got right there. He's uh, had a lucky seven out of Riverton, Wyoming. And uh, they really focus on grass efficiency, things like that. So right up our alley. So. Those are the two bulls, and then, like I said, 45 pair. So far, it's going good. Oh, Juanita's doing good. Just a great day, a great day to be alive, and great day to be on your horse. Man, the wind howls out on this range like crazy. We just got one more draw to go over, and we'll be there. It's going really good. At least that's what my dad said. Funny story. But Two years ago when it was our first year coming out here buying the permit my dad ran cows out here as a kid so every draw we went up he'd say oh it's the next draw and so we went over three or four draws thinking it was the next one made for a long day but man the wind's howling i bet you can hear it the cows are really trailing out good i'm really liking how they're staying paired up instead of stringing out and uh and leaving the calves in the back but they're paired up really good and that's kind of our goal when you're pushing cows you kind of want it to be quiet slow it goes a lot better than when you're booing them and they're running away from you
Hey girls. Okay, there's our destination, the pond, called Moroni Pond. Looks like Haley and my kids found it, which was good. It's gone really slick. It's been an easy, relaxing day so far, hasn't it? So, we're gonna go, oh, I see some water, Dad. What? There's water. Here. We were starting to question a little bit when the pond looked dry. Look at those cows. They can smell the water. They're going to run and get them a drink. So we're going to get these cows a drink, make sure they're paired up, and we can call it. That's pretty good. That, I bet that was a third of the time then that first year we took them up here. Two really slick calves. Cows stayed paired up. Things just going really slick so far. Okay, hey, here's the Moroni pond. You can see the cows all getting a drink. Lulu, and let me just get a drink with the horse. So I mentioned we really rely on good ponds out here because there's no live water. So this is all just snow melt and catching rainfall. So the cows will just um, come out here and water. And then they'll go travel a couple miles and eat and then come back to water. But the dogs are enjoying the water. I said my dad forgot his bridle, so he rode off the halter. It's going pretty slick. So here's up here. If we don't have water in these ponds, we can haul water to these old uh, military storage things from probably World War II or something. They, they hold water, they catch some, but we haul water to these if we need them. Like, we got the cows and we're just gonna let them pair up and then they'll go out and eat the grass. I said it's desolate country, but you have to have the right kind of cow and they do really good in it. Thanks for watching the Whip Max. Thanks for watching the Rip Ranch. Your turn, Paco. Say thanks for watching the Rip Ranch. Well, he's not going to. He won't say it. <laughs>